Hi guys, um, John Russo here again, and uh, this is uh, you know basically like video two after the introduction. Um, we went over a little bit of mindset strategy, um, you know that you need to you know apply to your business, you know so you can realize some results. And um, now I'm gonna go over something that some of you might already know, but just bear with me because. A lot of people that are coming into the business um, really could use getting this tied in. So trust me, in the next few few days, we're going to get into some, some pretty good stuff. Um, not too, too technical where it's going to blow your mind, but you know, you know I, I just want to start from the beginning and walk everyone through, okay? So let's, let's talk about um, the, the overall picture of what needs to happen here and how it can happen in different ways. So just bear with me, okay? I'm gonna draw a few things on the board. Um, and, and the thing with, um, which is kind of cool, not, not too many people talk about how the online business world is actually has a lot of resemblance to how it used to work offline, and I'll kind of show you as I go through it. But let's say um, here in the old days, you, you had your, your, your mom and pop brick and mortar business, um, and um, you know you, you you would you would have to use old school marketing methods because we didn't have online. And for 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 talk sake, I had a gas station and an auto body shop, and this was my was the main main location. Okay, and I would. Um, I'm going to draw some, some lines coming off, okay? And we're not going to get too heavy into the old school ways. I just want to make a point, so bear with me. You know, I had an auto body shop, and we had driving, we had traffic, right? And they would be, they would be they, you know, your strategic location, they would be driving by, you know, I was on a state highway, and they would drive by and you know they'd see the gas station and they'd pull in um, and, and I also use newspaper okay so we use we used um, you know ads I'm gonna put newspaper and I used um, I was one of the first guys uh, in the 80s and 90s that made flyers because I learned that in the gas business you, we had the, the credit card apps were a flyer and they stuck on a, the counter. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. And um, that, that just struck a light bulb to me. And I made flyers for my automotive business, right? And I put, it, put, put the brochures in the nappers and, you know, all the places that the automotive consumers would be. And that's pretty easy because they drive to supermarkets, they drive, you know, to the ballpark, they drive everywhere. So I would direct market and put my, my brochures out. So, you know, we had flyers, you know. And I, I was also, I, I, I had a graphics business and we lettered fleets. Uh, we used to letter all the trucks um, for a lot of the big door companies, the oil companies, the, you know, gas companies, the pavers, the plumbers. So, you know, signage, vehicle marketing, right? This is old school, so just bear with me. Vehicle, all right? Uh, print ad and stuff, and, and we could go deeper into it, but I wanna bore you to death on that. I think everyone's up to date on how it was done before online, but I just wanted to kinda, of, you know, spark a little light bulb there. So now, your main location online is the your, your your really your blog okay that should be your main hub okay and it's pretty interesting if you use that blog to communicate with and now we have social media we you know facebook i'm not going to name them all you know facebook linkedin right spelt it wrong man in um so you get my point there you got twitter so you got your social media and then you 
in the online world, we, we need to have an autoresponder. We need to build a list. And bear with me. Even if you have a brick and mortar business, you're going to want to do all this stuff. See? You're still going to want to do this in the brick and mortar world on many of the businesses. And you're going to, here's your social media, right? I'm having brain fart today on spelling. Social media. And then you have your, your list, right? Your email list, like AWeber or GetResponse. Um, now, let's see, bear with me here. Now, with, with your blog, the, 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 it's, you, you want to get traffic. You, you're, gonna, you know, you're not having drive-by traffic, so you, you need to figure out your niche. Your niche, you know, what, describe your niche, describe your target market, and um, figure out what they need or what their problems are and how you can um, stand out above the competition um, and, and be able to uh, provide value for them, answer questions, provide value or a service to them um, or solve a problem, you know. Um, you know, many times, uh, uh, you know, just take the iPhone, you know, it, it uh, Steve Jobs, you know, he, he, you know, everyone, there were phones before the iPhone, but he was like, wait a minute, he says, we need to be able to get our email on the phone, we need to be able to um, have our music on the phone, so he solved the problem for the niche, his niche, uh, niche crowd was the general public that were in the cell phone industry in the beginning, and then the music industry, and it grew and grew and grew, so you figure out your niche, you have, uh, let's say, YouTube as a as a uh, place to grab traffic. You have Google, Yahoo, Bing, and many other search engines, right? Um, now, <clears throat> and we're going to go into detail. I'm going to I'm going to give you some pointers and things that I have done to. Um, be able to get my website, my main blog, on page one of Google, and actually, in some cases, just dominate the whole page. I mean, just I'm I'm one through ten on the whole page. Uh, pretty cool feeling to do that. Actually, it, it it gets in the very beginning. It's like you know, it might be like boring, and you really you don't you're not seeing a result. But when you start seeing the result, you're like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna write another good piece of content and see how fast I can rank that, you know, and get that in front of the eyeballs of, of my trap, you know, my, my target audience, okay? Uh, so, you've just given you a general picture, okay? And then there's other ways to get traffic also in eyeballs, okay? And that, there, there is, there's traffic uh, sites, like you can get traffic there's brokers that actually that will sell you traffic from a list, okay? Traffic brokers. And you and you want, you know, you want buyers traffic, okay? You don't want a bunch of browsers that aren't ready to really purchase something, you know. For instance, uh, I, my AC unit broke, you know, uh, at my house, uh, actually, excuse me, at my business like two years ago, I remember I, I Googled, need an AC repairman. I mean, those are buyer's keywords, okay? Targeted traffic. So, you have traffic bro brokers, you can get solo ads. That's other, other vendors, uh, people like ourselves that have a list that are willing to, you know, sell the list, uh, rent the list, basically, and they allow you to email that list. That's how to get instant traffic, okay? And when you, when you, so there's, you can, you can, there's paid. Let's call this the paid, okay? This will call 
we'll call content. We're gonna so we got email, we've got Facebook. This is gonna we're gonna call it free. But there's nothing in, in the world for free. It still takes time. Then you have content. That's when you, you know, when you write an article um, on your, um, and you pick a keyword, you go into uh, Google or one of the search engines and you use a keyword tool and you pick a, a, a keyword that has um, high volume of traffic, you know, uh, you know, medium to high, and it has low to medium um, competition. You don't want to try to rank for something where there's, uh, you know, the, the, there's a million people that are, are ranking for it already and you're never going to get to the front page, you know. So, you know, the, the, the bottom line here is uh, if you can create um, enough content and um, you will start ranking for keywords okay and there's a thing called the three c's of marketing and the three c's create um capture okay so you're basically creating content and they're searching someone's searching for a, a, a keyword uh, maybe how to make money from home or home business or whatever you whatever you, you you're writing your blog on and they so you they've created a piece of content they put it on their blog you search for it you you cap you, you capture uh, they captured you said and now the, the the whole thing is they provide enough value where you're interested and then they capture your email with some free information some solid information and value so that's the mindset that you want to the approach uh, that you want to follow um, one of the approaches now hear me out you could go you could you but you I really recommend always having a blog and and, and you, you can you can you can shortcut it it might not be the right word but there's certain ways that you can you can approach this okay you could just be just just do paid and grab your traffic and get them onto your blog and sell them on your blog, right? You could do paid on, you know, PPC, paid off Facebook, paid off YouTube, bring them on your blog. But the best thing to do is a combination of, of all the above because here's why. What I do is you're going to see as you're on my list and it's very, this is, this is probably a hundred thousand dollar secret that some people don't realize. You need to talk to your list. Okay. You need to talk to your, um, your, your, your nurture your list and that's your family. You know, that's your, your, you know, in my automotive business, it was, these were my customers that some of them spent 20, 30, 50, 60, 75,000 with me and they were on my list. And I would send them the cool cars that I did, you know, after I did their car, or the information about a car show, information about a cool product or paint, you know, um, protectant or something like that. And these people were my family. They're not even, you know, it's not even that they're a client or a customer at that point. They become your family. So if you treat your list like your family, you're gonna have, you're gonna, you're gonna win. So, so here's, here's what I do. I go on my blog, I create a piece of unique content, then I share it with my list, okay? So my list is now going to click on the link and check out what I wrote. So that increases my web traffic, or your web traffic, because I'm trying to help you with some ideas, right? And you can even say, if you like this post, Go here and check this one out too. It's 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 the same. Now what that just did is it it doubled times two your, your traffic to your website. So now you're bringing the traffic on your website from your list, and they're getting to understand you know what you know. Actually, they're getting to uh, enjoy what you're sending them, and you're you're providing value, and they're starting to create a bond with you, and then. You also, on the blog, 
you have your Facebook share buttons and your social media buttons. You can share on Facebook, okay? You can share on Facebook and drive more traffic to your website. So you're trying to drive traffic to the main sales page, okay? Your selling tool. And the traffic's coming in from all your social media, YouTube, you can do a video with a backlink. We'll get into that. I'm just, just giving you like an overview. I'm not getting into anything detailed, but I'm giving you an overview of how you need to really look at this. And th this is why this, this business that I'm in is so cool. It even works for offline people that are just starting a website. They can put the, 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 the website on their flyer or on their vehicle and drive traffic back to their website, okay? And then if you want to do some paid and build your list, that's cool. That's, that'll speed up the clock, but you got to have funds for that. But the whole time, you, if you're doing all this, you're, you're writing content, right? And you're creating three C's, right? I know this board's a mess, but you know, you, you can even take a screenshot of it or take a picture with your phone and save it because it's, it's, it's actually um, the Bible on how all this works. But when you start, if you're doing all these and you start driving paid traffic to your, to your, uh, your, your website, your, 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 your main hub, now you're going to increase your list. It, it works. Now you've got more social media activity. Now you start to become an authority. And now you start creating sales. So it really just works all together, you know. Um, it's like driving a boat, you know. You, 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 you got to have fuel. You got to have water. You got to have everything. And, you know, you, 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 once, you, once you launch it out of the water and you get it up on plane, then it's cruising. Everything's working in harmony. You got it trimmed. You've done all the six, seven steps correctly. And that thing is just cruising down the road, taking it, you know what I'm saying? Actually down the water. Um, so that's it. I'm going to wrap it up because I don't want to be on here for an hour. Um, this is just, you know, a brief overview of what we're going to get into. I'm going to bring you deep inside um, how I run my business and how I've been successful. So... Till next time, make it a great day. And if you like this video, share, you know, share with your friends. And if there's a link below it, click on the link. Beautiful. Have a great day. Thanks. John.